Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. What we're going to look at today is how to create section numbering. That is 1A, 1B, 1C at the bottom of the page as opposed to 1, 2, 3 and so on and so on. Now to do that, I'm going to firstly double click in the footer to activate that and then just show you what you'd normally do. Normally you would just go to page numbering and drop it in there puts the number in and then you can add fields at the end of that and try and get this to work. But in my experience is that is quite difficult and sometimes it's very frustrating to get it to work. So the best way I think to do it is manually to do it like this. So I'm just getting rid of that footer there. The way to do it is through this option, quick parts. Quick parts is also on the insert tab, but basically I want this option field. And now in there you've got lots of fields. Normally it would be on all. And you can see there's a big list. I filtered that down so it's just showing numbering. Now what I want is the section number. So you've got section there. So it says there, insert the number of the current section. I don't want this op option, which is the wording of that slightly confusing. That just gives you a total number of pages within a section. So I want a section. I want it to be one, two, three. So that's one, two, three, and I click OK. And it puts it in there. Now I don't want it there, so I'm just going to tab that across like so. Maybe might have to come back a little bit. And then after that, I want to put in the, the actual section page number. And again, I'm going to quick parts, field, and section page number. It's not that, and it's not that. It is just a normal page that you would normally put in if you was doing this manually, just wanting it to say one, two, three, or ABC. So I've selected page and I want it to go ABC because it's already got a one there. So if I click OK, it should say one A. So I do need to come back a little bit on that. So one A. Let's take it across a bit. Now if I come out of this back into the, the document. When I do a new page, it should go 1B, 1C. So the actual number, the section number is still a one. Now, if I want to change this to a section two, if I go uh, to layout breaks, it's the next page. That has already done it in situ, change this to section two. If I double click on it, it says same as previous, so if I take that off, because I don't want that, that there to start as, as a C, so this is a new section, so I'd need to highlight that, go to format page numbers, select ABC, and then click the bottom there, start at A, so now that says 2A, and if I double click off this, so you've got 1A, 1B, 2A, Press control and enter, and then that says 2B. And then the process would be the same. Following it on, you just keep adding new sections in. So if I do that again for you so you can see it, uh, go back to layout, breaks, next page. It's just, um, I'll do that again actually, so it goes on to a second page. Yeah, so this section, if I double click on the bottom there, You've got a section there. If I um, do a control enter on that one, I get 3A, 3B, and then that's saying 4A. So it doesn't different section. Section 4, it's starting at A, so that's okay. I need to break this off so it's not linked to the previous one, and then click off that. And that's how you do it really. You just basically keep creating your sections, but make sure that the number you put in first is not the one, two, three page number. It's the section number. And then the one, two, three or ABC goes after that. And then you can get the numbering to be formatted as shown. So I hope that was useful for you. And hopefully I can see you on a new video shortly. Thank you for your time.